the next-gen Radeon RX 7000 series graphics cards based on RDNA 3 architecture are on track to be released next year. It was confirmed by AMD CEO Dr. Lisa Su during a recent earnings call. In this video, I compiled everything we know so far about the upcoming AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT, 7800 XT, 7700 XT and 7600 XT graphics cards. We will have a look at the specs, performance, release date and possible pricing. Full disclosure, all the following information comes from leaks, so take it with a grain of salt. Before that, buy your Windows 10 license for less at cdkoffers.com using the link in the description below. Use code IV20 for an additional 20% off and safely check out with PayPal for instant delivery. RX 7000 series GPU manufacturing will move from a 7 nanometer to 5 nanometer TSMC node for improved performance and power efficiency compared to the current generation. That, in combination with the new RDNA 3 architecture, will allow for a massive performance leap. RX 7600 XT, codename Navi33, will feature 5120 cores, which is equal to the current flagship RX 6900 XT. Infinity cache from 128 to 256 megabytes and TDP between 250 and 300 watts. The performance is expected to be higher than 6900 XT. Next up is RX 7700 XT, and this is where things get extra interesting. This graphics card will have two GPU chips. AMD developed a new technology similar to what is currently found in Ryzen 9 5900X and 5950X CPUs. Two GPU chips will be combined into one package and will work as a single graphics card. It will be the world's first multi-chip module in a consumer-grade product. RX 7700 XT, codename Navi32, will have 256 or 384 megabytes of Infinity Cache, 10,240 cores and over 300 watts TDP. Before we get to the most powerful GPU, please tap the like button if you are enjoying this video. It helps me a lot. RX 7900 XT, codename Navi31, will also be a double GPU graphics card. It will have a core clock speed of around 2.5 GHz, from 256 to 512 MB of Infinity Cache, and 15,360 cores. To put it into perspective, the current flagship RX 6900 XT has 5,120 cores. That is three times fewer. TDP is expected to be above 400 watts. As for the performance, a realistic expectation is a 60 to 80 percent improvement compared to 6900 XT. It is a massive generational leap that will most definitely come with a price increase. AMD's new flagship graphics card may take the spot carved out by Nvidia Titan at 2000 plus dollars. MSRP for other models is likely to increase as well. RX 7800 XT will most likely feature a cut-down version of the GPU found in RX 7900 XT. High-end models, as always, will release first. Currently, the RX 7000 series is projected to launch in the third quarter of 2022 with possible delay to quarter 4. Mid-range GPUs will follow shortly after. What do you think about the upcoming AMD graphics cards? Join me in the discussion in the comments below. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.